Welcome back to Int Plus One channel. This is Carl, and this is part six of Let's Play Enchanted Arms. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a pretty big fan of this game so far. Oh, man, I just got my leg wrapped around my cord here. I guess uh, eventually I need to go a little wireless or something for the setup, but I like to keep it pure. Um, that way I make sure that you know, the audio quality is pretty consistent. Um, and there, you know, there's potential for a lot of interference. So, all right, here we are. We got our main character here. Let's say hi. Oh man, you know, I'm trying to adjust the camera here. Well, whatever. It's just going over his head. And like a lot of things go over his head, actually. <coughs> so what do I expect? Well, I honestly expect a big boss battle to come up. So we're gonna fight some generic enemies. You know, I, I do have a mild complaint about the uh, the frequency, maybe, of the random battles. Uh, it does feel a little excessive. And go all right but you know it's okay it doesn't have to be that big of a deal so we're big puppy killers I guess puppy punchers um, We're just gonna kind of fast forward through these. Um, I almost feel like random battles really aren't fun to watch, and and I may for RPGs uh, adopt sort of a what's the word I'm looking for? Sort of a well, I'll cut it out frame by frame thing. But that's actually a really difficult thing to do uh, with with the setup that I'm using right now, currently. Now at some point, um, you know, I may change things up, but I'm I'm using Blender, and Blender's amazing. Um, but in some ways. Blender isn't necessarily made to be a, a uh, you know, strictly a video editing tool. Well, it certainly isn't, but as a program, it's sort of the Swiss army knife of tools. All right, well, anyway, let's get engaged in this. This, if I recall correctly, is an enchant cube. What does it do? It enchants cubes. If we climb on board and enchant, it should move. I see, so we can get around on it. You caught on fast, for once. But how exactly do we make it move? Okay, I'll explain how it works. Ahem. First, we get on the enchant cube and press X. The fourth wall, you say? This will activate the enchant cube. Now, use the left stick to move the enchant cube. This enchant cube moves horizontally, but others may move in other directions. Interesting. To get off, press X to restore the enchant cube to standby mode, then dismount. That's it. Did you get all that? <laughs> yeah, I got it. Okay, X to get on, X to get off, and L to move. Oh, L. All right, let's do this. We're doing the thing. Oh, 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 man. What's down there? What's down there? I'm no good with computers. Please do help. Okay, so let's go this way. Gosh, I, I you know, this room reminds me of, um, what? I opened the door, and I got into a boss battle, or into a, a fight. Okay, so the, the the aesthetic here actually reminds me of Panzer Dragoon uh, Saga, which if you've never played it, you have to play this, right? This is one of those uh, those RPGs that is beyond be beyond belief brilliant, actually. Um, I do tend to think of it as probably one of the most phenomenal games that has ever existed. And it's a darn shame, too, because, uh, you know, the, um, apparently, supposedly, yeah. the, the source code for it has been lost over time. Um, but the I Panzer Dragoon you. world in general is just so rich. Uh, at some point, I definitely want to play through it. Uh, copies of that game, though, are incredibly, incredibly expensive. Uh, so that's going to be something that I'll have to, uh, kind of try and source over time. Um... Now, the first disc, actually, interestingly enough, is not very expensive, and that's because the first disc was actually distributed for free for a short while. Um, and, and you'll have to forgive me, I like to give a lot of context uh, about different games, make sort of different connections about things. Uh, I'm a really big uh, gaming fan, but more so, I consider myself almost a gaming historian. Um, you know, for a short period of time, well, not a short period of time, from, uh, from 2004 to 2006, I worked in a game store. 
Um, and then again in 2010. And then uh, I worked for a company, you may have heard of them, called Blockbuster Video for about five years. And so I saw a lot of, um, a lot of entertainment media, uh, became incredibly familiar, actually, with, with gaming in general, and of course then connected with other people who were. Uh, and, you know, of course I'm associated with some groups that are actually very gaming and technology oriented, so it's a very big part of my life. And, and this is kind of taking it full circle. But let's listen to Atsuma. Why? What's this then? If I could recall correctly, this is an enchant item box. An enchant what? You probably just press X on it, silly! An enchant item box. You must have seen these at school. Come on! Atsuma wasn't allowed into the school storeroom, remember? Too risky. Yeah, far too risky. Never mind that. What do we do with this? Put simply, it's an enchanted box. The item inside should be perfectly preserved. It works even if the item is 1,000 years old. Like your mom. Hey, what? Try pressing X in front of the box. That should open it. So how do I open it? No. No problem. I wonder what's inside. So most games I feel like do let you kind of figure it out on your own that, you know, you press the action button to do actions. Uh, this game, this game thinks we're an idiot and that's okay. Um, man, I really do like the aesthetic here. A little runic writing on the ground. But, you know, that's that seems to be sort of a From Software thing in general. And you'll notice that a lot in Nier, like the, the sort of runic writing and, and glowing writing and it's it's actually an amazing aesthetic to me. Hey, is this the same as before? In principle, yes. But this enchant cube looks like one that moves up and down. So how do we make it move? I'll explain. Ahem. This moves in pretty much the same way as a horizontal enchant cube. First, get on the enchant cube, then press X. Now, use the left stick to make the enchant cube move up or down. That's it. Did you get it? Yeah. Let's do it then. We're going to do the thing on the cube. Er. <sighs> Well, these dungeons are interesting. At least they're not kind of generic. Unless, you know, like the first dungeon's like really unique and they're all kind of like that later on. I don't know. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, we got some kind of magic technology stuff going on here. Is that, I'm presuming it's some kind of a power generator. Look, if you recall correctly, this is a power plant that runs on magic. Sweet, I was right. Wow. Wow, is that all you can say? You understand what it means? Nope. Do you? You and I are totally different. Weren't you listening just now? Magic I mean, I is was. technology from before the Golem War, a thousand years ago. Magic also uses ether and is still bound by those laws and principles. But it is capable of creating power far greater than anything an enchanter does. Put simply, enchanting is just one small facet of magic. And this machine is operated by... Magic. Well, I thought magic, though, went from the world after the Golem War. Well, anyway, it doesn't but matter. All that magic was lost, right? Okay, cool. Yeah, so we're on the same page. Still working. Man, it's big. Which means this facility uses a lot of energy. Yeah, but what for? Now that, I don't know. I, I you know, so I suspect it's like some kind of high-powered prison. Um... Like, that's my guess. I don't know if I'd call it an educated guess, but I feel like it makes sense with everything that we've seen so far. All right, yeah, here they're showing us that, hey, we can make the choice to go up or down, left or right. So, of course, I'm gonna get the treasure chest that we press the X button to enchant and open. All right, more pills. Very cool. I need my pills. All right, so we're gonna go this way. Whee! Okay, I'm done. So. Aw, oh, man. Are you serious? Are you super serious? Are you so serious right now that you could not be any less serious? Oh, hey, that's new. Little floating body thing. Um, I almost don't want to screw around with it. All right, so. Wait. Oh, okay, yeah. Man. All right, power charge him. And you come here and beat Sonic him and then you come here and you're gonna blow him oh oh huh all right Atsuma you move back here because I actually don't even have an idea of how I'm gonna hit that thing okay the high spear will do it so it like floats and I guess that's you know we can't we can't attack it because it's up in the air 
That makes a lot of sense. It's not super convenient, but it makes a lot of sense. Uh, all right, so flare rush him, and high spear him, and you know, actually, I really find this battle system to be really decent. It, it's it really reminds me of like something like Kodelka um, on the original PlayStation, which was like this really interesting kind of horror RPG uh, that, well, to be honest, I've never really seen anything like it since. Um, although I'm sure that's something out there probably, but what am I doing? Oh, you know what? Yeah, I can. All right, Toya, stay there. No, no lies. Toya, move here. And Aqua Spike it. And then you eat Sonic it. Or we can just do that. I don't think I had an appreciation that I was going to kill that thing that quick. All right, Atsuma leveled up. Uh, I'm going to press that save button thing that I like to do. Um, save often, save frequently in RPGs. That's, that's, you know, and save in different spots too. And the reason why I'm actually doing this though is because I have this fear that like somehow the recording will get futzed or something, right? And I'll have to redo this part. So, you know, in games like Dark Souls 2, where it just auto-saves everything you do, it's not plausible to do such a thing. But in this, we have the option, and I am very appreciated of, or appreciative of options. All right, so there's a fork in the road. Hey, cool. Let's, let's, uh, let's go ahead and check this guy out. He's obviously a golem guardian kind of thing. But wait a second then. No, no, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I feel like we shouldn't be able to fight it unless it's possible to fight it. Well, it's certainly possible to fight it. I guess really the question is is whether or not it's possible to win. Hey, what's this golem doing here? If I recall correctly, this is a lost golem. A lost golem? Ahem. Lost golems are golems who have lost their masters. If we defeat them in battle, we can obtain their core material. Sweet. Hey, cool, sounds like a good idea. There are probably lost golems in every corner of the world. Keep an eye out for them. I will, um, but I do suspect that this is going to be a little more difficult than typical. So what I want to do... Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my tiger here of awesomeness to power charge my guys, okay? And then he is going to high spear this guy, and then, oh, yeah, alright, so that's okay. We're gonna stand by him, and I'm gonna flare rush him. And we're gonna start, we're gonna see how much damage this does. So I'm not gonna fast forward. Alright, okay, cool, that overbroke him. Oh, hey, that wasn't bad. X cutter. Ooh, 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 ouch, did you see that? Well, of course you did, right? You're watching, you're watching intently. How am I going to solve this thing? All right, so clearly you need to get back here and stand by. You need to get here and flare. No, actually, why, why would I waste such energy? Here, you just blow him. And can this Talagon do anything useful to it? It can. Yeah, and stay there and beat Sonic that. Yeah, master. I was trying to hear what he said. Something, something, sumimasen. But I, I couldn't understand it. So that's really cool. Um, servant core. Nice. So we can synthesize something with that. That's cool. Is this a door? This is not a door. Very cool. I'm glad I actually took myself off the beaten path. Because that, that produced useful results. All right, let's see here. Makoto, you beat Sonic them. You, go ahead and do the thing. You, do the thing. And you, do the thing. All right. Ooh. 
I didn't know they could do that much damage to me. The worst part about all of that, actually, is the fact that... Yeah, we're just gonna... Yeah, I know, I know not everyone's moved. That's fine. I am not essentially happy about that, but that's okay. I don't see any point in wasting time. We win. Yeah, we do. We win. Now, what are these numbers here, though? VP 91 to 84, 42 to 40. I feel like I missed something. Oh, wow. Primrose levels up even though we don't have her in a party. That is a good thing to know. I wonder if I can teach my Pokemon new moves. Never actually played a Pokemon game, by the way. That's something I would like to do on here. Um, but it looks like Nintendo actually does not take a great stance on um, using their property uh, for Let's Plays, which is really unfortunate. I think it's, I think it's, uh, um, gosh, I think it's really unfortunate, in fact, because they have some amazing intellectual property uh, that I would love to, to use and, and to achieve this channel's goals. But, wow, each one of these saves is like almost four megabytes. I didn't even notice that before. Yuck. All right, so door on the left, door on the right. I usually feel like right's the right way to go. So, wait, but this is guardian room. I'm wondering then what this is. Power room. Let's go into the power room. Now, of course, I can always... Wait. Wait, am I an idiot? And am I just backtracking? I am just backtracking. That's okay. I don't know how I managed to do that. I, I think I got turned around when it came to... Uh, Doing that extra core lost golem thing. This is really cool too. This is the farthest I've ever seen in this game. I, you know, I, I feel like I picked Whoa. it up years and years back and never Look really took it seriously. Uh, Toya? Oh yes, ancient golems from the look of them. These are all golems? Well, I think they're intended more as an expression of potential power. What? They're only for show. Oh. Okay. Or to threaten, perhaps. What kind of threat? Like, don't go any further, maybe? Yeah, yeah. so uh, I, I'm actually not 100% clear at this point what our motivation for continuing to go down in here is. That's pretty cool, though. It's like an army. It would actually be a pretty terrifying army, I think, to have. Okay, so they've got their six. The path to the doorway is blocked. What should we do? If we supply power to the golems blocking the way... They should move, letting us through. Supply power to the golems? So there's a switch around here somewhere. Yes, there should be. Well done. Ha! You hear that, Makoto? Toya thinks I did well. Bah! I can't believe I'm jealous of you. Jealous. Oh, man. His voice is fun to, to kind of imitate, I guess. All right. So we're going to go up the little elevator here. And I'm gonna press the big red button. Uh, that doesn't look ominous at all. Could this be the switch? If I remember the pictures I've seen, that should be it. This facility is very old as I suspected, close to 1,000 years, I think. Okay, time to throw the switch. What should I do? <laughs> it may look different from the switches we use every day, but it's easy enough to use. We're gonna press the X button. Da, da 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 like I said, we're easy. Yep, oh yeah, here we go again. I mean, at this point, press the action button to do actions. It's context sensitive. It's sensitive to context. It's actually one of my favorite lines from uh, from uh, Conquer. Um, when the scarecrow tells you about, yeah, you press X. It's sensitive to context, context sensitive. Hey, look at that. I'm excited. Ipso facto, let's go down. Ah, you're interrupting my progress. And see, you know, I'm afraid to actually put them on autopilot because when they're on autopilot, I don't feel like they make the greatest decisions. Let's fight then. Like, what if they actually get me killed? Like, that's irritating to think about. Aha, uh -huh. all right. Huh, okay. What I want to do is I want to move him there. And shoot. No. What I want to do is I... Dang it. 
All right, you there. Oh. Oh, well, you know, there's no way to actually make that happen like non-linearly, is there? Okay, that's okay. We're gonna power charge, even though he won't be there in time to, to benefit from it. Which, you know what, in that case, we'll do that. And I think, yep, that high spear will actually, and, hmm, that's all right. This still works, it's just not, it's suboptimal. But there's a couple things about that, like that I don't feel like I can get the exact perfect combination of how I want to do it. Man, those things are strong though. Oh, they're ridiculously strong. Oh, okay. So, Toya. No, let me think about this. You. Blow him. Toya. You high spear him. And on the off chance that that doesn't kill it all the way. And, you know, take out the... Yep. Oh! 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 Ow! Ow! <coughs> <coughs> Shoot! Alright, high spear him. And you get him back there. So that should be... Oh, it wasn't the winning move. Yuck. Yeah, see, I don't know that the AI was... Dang it. Fine. You stand by. And you beat Sonic him. Hey, he's got one HP. Yeah, that was a rough battle, actually. I mean... The hardest one I think I've had so far. So what am I gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna do the thing where I save. So we're gonna save. Man, are you OCD? Well, I just wanna make sure that, uh, and I'm not sure what this game's policy is on dying. I don't think I did it yet. Um, so I don't know what I get to start with, what I don't get to start with. Um, and that's okay. And it's nice that the game actually heals your HP outside of battle. Yes, this is the way that we're going. I, I had to reorient for a moment. Wait up, Atsuma. Yeah, what's up, Toya? Like I said, it could be dangerous up ahead. Are you all ready for battle? Using EX attacks should allow us to take down even really powerful enemies. But the EX gauge needs to be full before an EX can be used. If I remember correctly, you can charge the EX gauge outside combat using the Enchant Dance. Enchant Dance? <clears throat> that special dance we learned in class we did at the school festival, remember? No. Oh, yeah, right, right. Of course, I remember. I love, love, love to dance. Well, I janachale. Wow. Just thinking about it makes me want to hit the dance floor and shake my stuff. Come on, let's lay down some moves. I'm going to dance. Right now, dance. Hold on. How does it go again? Okay, I'll explain. Ahem. You can perform the enchant dance pretty much anytime, anywhere. But when you're climbing a ladder or riding an enchant cube. And it goes without saying, you know, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. if you feel like dancing first, you must stop moving. Then press the R1 button to answer dance ready mode. TM. <laughs> now that you're ready to get down, shake the six axis wireless controller. I don't have a six axis. I've got a dual shock three. Darn it. Oh. This really tells you how old it is, actually. Uh, the more you shake it, the more your EX gauge will recover. In other words, rather than large, exaggerated shakes, you might want to try small, quick, rapid shakes for better results. <clears throat> That's what she said. So, when you're finished, press the R1 or circle button, and you'll be able to move again. That's it. Did you get all that? Uh, yeah. 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 Press the R1 button and snake the six axis controller wireless. Hey. Then just shake your booty and fill up that EX gauge. Oh, there's one more thing, Atsuma. The Enchant Dance also has a negative effect. It attracts enemies, so after dancing, you may bump into more foes. You can groove the night away if you like, sure, but if you're looking to avoid battle, it might be better to lay off the dancing. Okay. I mean, this is fine. Oh my god, what? Let's go. 
What? Oh, this is... I love it! Oh my god! Hey, what does that do? It says EX plus zero. Yeah! I'm getting zeros everywhere. I guess my gauge is full and it's been full. I don't care. I want to see this through to the end. I don't need to stop. I'll track a bunch of enemies. Who gives a care? Oh, man, I love this game so much. I really do. It's, oh, it's ridiculous. It is just ridiculous. The lock room. Wonder what's in here. Hey, we can, uh, ooh, you know what? Let's go ahead and synthesize that lost golem that we got in that night servant. What do I need? 10. Okay, so I need two mind gems. This is good. I'll go ahead and I'll buy item. And I'm gonna buy mind gem X2. Yep, all right, now we're gonna go ahead and synthesize our night servant. What's not? Wait, how did I? Okay, six. I need two more mind gems. How did I make that mistake? All right, buy items. Or did I not actually buy it? I've got 12 now. Now it should not, you know, like the cost shouldn't. Okay. Hey, he's even got a big okay. We get to watch it get reconstructed from magic circuit technology graphic stuff. He looks like he came a bit... What is it? Anata something... It must... must I, I could not... His voice is too distorted for me to really understand it. I'm just not a native Japanese speaker, unfortunately. Um, but I would like to think that I could understand it if I could just not hear it quite so distorted. Anyway, I think he probably told me he's ready to serve me, Master. So, that's cool. I think... Wait, no, no. You stay there because... Yeah, we're gonna beat Sonic to death. All right, you know what? I made a bad decision, but it's not that bad of a decision, so I'm just gonna let it roll. Well, I made, you know, I didn't make a bad decision. I just made a suboptimal decision. And really, the consequences of, of such decision really are not impactful enough for me to actually care. In fact, we're just gonna, yeah, I know, not everyone's moved, but he's dead. We overbroke him. Oh man, you know, Makoto just thinks he's so fabulous. I like that though. He's got, he's got some sass, I guess. Um, oh yeah, that was a phone noise, not a game noise. All right, more switches. Look at, Look at this. Wow. wow, this is amazing. This is amazing. Oh, he's gonna talk. What? What, what? what is it? It appears to be an ancient device that works via enchanting. Maybe it'll work if we use some ether. Even though it's remarkably old, it seems to be in perfect working order. What incredible technology. Okay, green. Incredible okay, technology, yeah, yeah, yeah. huh? Incredible. What? What? Oh. Yeah, what? Oh. We remember hearing that, right? Oh, you're probably going to touch hey, things with your arm and do wrong? stuff. As if I understand anything this thing does. Well, it's gonna turn red and do things with stuff. Man, I almost had a heart attack. Oof, this right arm is a real pain. And it's still glowing, ah, too. Whenever it touches something enchanted, the thing starts malfunctioning. Give me a break. That's my line. I want a break from you. Tell it to the arm, Mikado. Atsuma, one thing. Why did you go back into the school? Why did you lead us down into the sealed ward? Refresh my memory. I was actually trying to figure that out. Uh, well, because... Right, I was looking for Coda. But you've hardly mentioned him since we got down here. That isn't true, I have. Uh, I think. You've seemed desperate to proceed, too. 
Yeah, I do think he's kind of being driven here. I'm starting here. to wonder if something is leading you. Game scripting. Something? What kind of something? What? So I'm like Hellboy or something, right? My well, arm's a key? For example, your right arm. All I need is a cigar and some awesome oh, cut-off horns. Don't say such horrific things. Toya, I don't want to discuss my arm with you. Let's keep it friendly, okay? <laughs> right. Okay, so you're one to talk. You are probably the most adversarial compatriot I have. The next step is to find some ether. Yes, and this machine may still work, just like Toya said. Well, hold on. You were just you guys were just questioning why we're continuing forward and doing things, but you're now offering to help us continue to do things that we don't know what we're doing. This is like Paladin's quest all over again. Don't go to the ancient machine. You might wake the ancient machine. Wait, like, let's go and play in the ancient machine. Oh, look, we started the ancient machine. Uh, what is it? Dalgroth Gren? Dalgren. Dalgren, yeah. Hey, this is the end of the world. We can't go on. This is where the enchant wire comes into play. Enchant wire? You can't have forgotten already. The enchant wire is a grappling hook thrown using enchant power. Oh, right, that thing. I have one of those, I think. If you throw the enchant wire at a target and hook onto it, you can leap over it. It's perfect for times like this when you need to cross a gap. Cool, like a ninja or something. How do I use it? Allow me to explain. Ahem. First, you need to get close to the intended target. When you're close enough for the enchant wire to work, an icon will appear, and then you press X or shake the, uh, okay. Uh-huh. Wait, hold on, which button was it though? Was it R1? Hey. Oh, crap. Whatever, press X and then... Oh, yeah. I kind of feel like I'm playing like... Um... Oh, what, what game first had this? I mean, not really Bionic Commandos. Uh, that's not what I'm going for. I'm going for... Um... Not quite God of War, because God of War, you know, didn't do it first. Uh, I know the later Devil May Cry games, you have kind of like a hook shotty kind of deal. Um... And I'm, no, I'm, no, I don't mean the hook shot though, because there, there's something that's more like literally matched to what I'm thinking of, rather than just in an abstract sense, like you know, like an object that happens to do basically what I'm saying. Oh, all right, Makoto. Then you go here and flare rush, and you go here and blow. Yep. Oh, you know, I need to go ahead and I need to equip my cool golem here because you know what, he does a ton of damage. And my little tiger guy is just a little weak. Oh man, Atsuma's weak at times. I don't really feel like, uh, actually, so the battle system to me is just fine. So these frequent encounters for battles, it's not like terrible. Like it could certainly be worse. And I've, I've played worse RPGs by far. I don't think this game deserves a guff. It gets... All right, well, anyway, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to edit our party. And I'm going to change it up for the Knight Servant. He's got a lot of HP. A lot of HP. What level is he? Size one, but where do I see his level? I actually don't see it on here. Is there like a status information? Nope. All right. Now I wonder then, is this game short or something? Cause when I when I loaded my game, it said something like, yeah, like 9%, 8%. I haven't been playing that long. Is this really that short? Now that's fine, right? RPGs do tend to uh, maybe at times overstay their welcome, but this is slowly shaping up to actually be uh, what I kind of consider to be a really good RPG. Toya, I know I've seen one of these before. Indeed, it's an ether pod. Special storage device that can hold a large amount of ether. Should we be able to get plenty of ether from here? I seem to remember learning about this. Maybe, like a second ago. Possibly. Large amount of ether. Anyway, let's get some ether! I'm glad you have your priorities straight. How do we transport ether, though? And dealing with this amount of ether, the best way is for someone to become a temporary carrier. Atsuma, you call yourself an enchanter. This is the most basic of basics. You really are a waste of skin if you can't even do this. Hey, I can do it! Just you watch! Wait. If you use that right arm of yours, the pod will break. Ah! So just don't use your right arm, okay? Yeah! How do I gather the ether? When you get close to the ether pod, an icon will appear. When it happens, press X to absorb the ether. You got that? Yep. Press X. 
<sighs> Press action button to do actions. All right. Uh, let's see here. Come on, come on, come on. I don't want to get into a random battle because this video is starting to get a little longer than I planned. And I haven't gotten to the boss yet. Like, I really thought I was sort of on the precipice of, like, uh, you know, maybe not a first boss battle, but, like, amongst the first boss battle. All right, so... I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, All right, so that's what I want to do. I want to go ahead and I want to save. As I, you know, take up about 50 megabytes of space on this hard drive. It's only a 120 gigabyte uh, PlayStation 3. I've had it since, I think, 2000 and shoot. It's whatever year that Dark Souls... No, not Dark Souls. That Demon Souls came out actually, because I happen to own uh, Demon Souls before even owning a PlayStation 3. Get a load of this, then. I am getting a load of this. Now, what does this guy do though? His move range is short, but oh, he's got a lot of cool stuff. Okay, that's directly in front of them. Aqua Impulse. Interesting. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do then. I spear him. Mako's gonna stay there. He's gonna beat Sonic him. You can come here and just kind of stay. But what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna protection excel. I see you. Yeah. So that no effect. Oh, ouch, 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 ouch. Okay, Makoto. All right, high spear him. Then you flare rush him. And then you uh, aqua impulse. And then you do the thing where you heal everybody. I like having some healers. All right. Good job. Okay. Now at this point, all of our decisions don't matter because he is dead as potato chips. Aha. There we go. No, you know what? Doesn't even matter. Yeah, I know, that's right. Okay, I'm liking our new golem. He's pretty useful. He seems to actually have his stuff together. I like that in the golem. It's always good to have your priorities straight. Okay, so like you said before, I just need to put the ether I gathered earlier into this device. I presume so. I'll explain how. Ahem. To put the ether you've collected into the device, stand in front of the ether input and press X. Can you handle that? Yeah, no problem. Do 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 do. Pressing the X button. Phew. So that should be it, yeah. Perhaps. I believe so. Look. Oh, everything's turning around. And yeah, here we go. We go ahead and wake Dalgren, probably awaken an ice queen, and it's gonna be Narnia all over again. Everything's gonna freeze. We'll totally have destroyed the university. Like, this is what I expect to happen. I don't know, but, uh, you know, so I've seen a lot of movies, so I've seen a lot of video games. I'm beginning to see that arm of yours in a whole new light. You may not be happy with it, but you've got to admit it's certainly proving to be quite useful. All right, that's a healing thing, so I suspect hey, Toya, that we are think? right outside are of what should be yet? a boss battle. Uh, yeah, I think so. Man, that, that music felt kind of epic. Now there's no music, and I'm not feeling the epic anymore. Healing time. Okay, we are A floor. Okay, 
I see how the map works, I think, presuming that that was just solely the, uh, the current level that I'm on. Now, here's the bummer. Um, what I need to do is I need to go ahead and I need to kill this video now, unfortunately. I've run out of time. Really thought we'd be doing a boss battle by now, but that's okay. So, I hope you enjoyed it, though, because I'm going to be uploading this actually later today. Um, today being Thursday. And I really think that we're going to get through uh, the boss battle probably by this afternoon. I've got some class to attend and some schoolwork to do. And I need to eat at some point. That's something I should do. So, what do I want you to do? I want you to go ahead and subscribe. I want you to like. I want you to Facebook like. And, you know, I'm probably, I think, going to set up a Twitter uh, either today or tomorrow. So you can, like, you know, retweet or however that magic stuff works. I don't know. And I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. And permalangi.